Welcome to Travel Trails. A couple of years ago, we flew to Waigamau Lake, Ontario. There we met our guests, Caleb and Greta Sakatsakapo. They shared their journey of faith and his struggle with failing health with Parkinson's and also losing their son. But through it all, Caleb declares, no turning back, no turning back. Greta was born in Bearskin and grew up in Sachago. They both have a heartwarming story to tell. Rita asked them this question. How did you come to know the Lord, Greta? It's, uh, that was when Albert was uh, Albert Tate was uh, okay. usually used uh, him 132. Mm -hmm. uh, that, and, and at the end of that, the last, the last part of it, mm -hmm. uh, it talks about love. Okay. Yeah. How, how God breaks um, the burden. to know the Lord and okay. knowing that how much he loves me and yeah. that he can do it yeah. for having the service. Um, okay, with Albert Tate and Rhoda. Yeah. yeah. And have you been walking with the Lord ever since, Greta? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course we sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. struggle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just struggles in life. So. Yeah. yeah. That means I can't, I'm not fully walking with the yeah. Lord. No. Yes. Just, but just keeping me going. Yeah. You know, I don't want to let him go. Yeah, even though it's hard. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, you mentioned struggles. What kind of struggles would you have here in on um, the reserve? He was been drinking. Okay. No. Yeah. Marriage. No. Mm -hmm kinds of troubles and that. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's things. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. So you came to know the Lord first? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then a few years after here, I just kept on praying, and uh, mm -hmm. I wanted him to come to know the Lord too. And, that. Uh, and I promised then I would be with him, stand with him, yeah. if he does, you know. Just, yeah. What I've been doing, yeah. trying to walk with him, help him. He's working in a church and uh, yeah. doing some help in the church too. Yeah. So I try to be there with him at all times uh, to keep my promise, what I promised the Lord to do with him. And of course, I had a helping hand with Rhoda all yes. this time. Yeah. Yes. Until the day she left. Yes. Yeah. And I've been feeling so empty without her. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She always teaches me what to do and things, and yeah. I learned from her. Yeah. She was a close friend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I was kind of feeling, you know, empty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, uh, I still feel that she's, you know, I, it's one thing that I miss. The mm -hmm. prayer, yeah. we, we used to pray together. Oh, yeah. And when something comes up, when she needs help, mm -hmm. she calls me and I go. Mm -hmm. When I need help in prayer, I, I call her and we just go do it right away. Praise the Lord, you had a wonderful friend. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. She yeah. taught me a lot of things in Christian life. Right? Yeah. Even how to look after my husband. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So, what did you think when your wife came to know the Lord? Uh, I saw I saw her change, and I began to think about change, change lifestyle. But I could not let the, my, my, my desires go, my earthly desires. Right. That's what it happens for a long time. Yeah. But I know, I know she was praying. Mm -hmm. And one time I saw her kneeling at, at, the, at the bed, praying at night, because I was late coming home. Yeah. That's why I noticed uh, that she was praying a lot for me. Yeah. But I, it didn't happen right away yeah. to accept Jesus Christ. There's about uh, two or three times I accepted the Lord and uh, I just let it go. Yeah. That's what happened to me. Yeah. One time uh, I was driving from Pickle Lake to Round Lake. Mm -hmm. There's a, there a river called Pepstone. Uh, I came there and then I stopped there. I was by myself. Mm -hmm. And I walk up the, uh, the, the river. There's a tree going over there. And then I saw a piece of paper there on the road, kind of rainy day. I pick up the paper, and the paper said, uh, you're not alone, I'm with you. And then I almost, uh, almost fell. And I start to tears to my eyes. And I walk up to my bureau all by myself. And it takes an hour to get past to the window. When I got to Indigo, I changed my mind again. Oh. I don't want to follow the question again. I went back to the well. But one time here, I think it was 89, in the 90, there was a service there at church. There was a funeral service. Oh, okay. There was packed, the people were packed in the church. They, the, they, assured, they assured that uh, city people they put me in the front over there, way in the front. I was there and then I was sitting there. Yeah. And then there's a body in, sitting there. And then I was just sitting like this and I opened my eyes. And I saw myself in the, in the, in the, in the oh. coffin. Yeah. And somebody was whispering to me, are you ready to die? And I said, no, I'm not ready to die. That's when I accepted. That's when I accept Jesus Christ. 
Are you ready to die? That is the question that doesn't come up in a regular conversation, but it's an important one. None of us know when we'll pass on to meet the Lord. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. My prayer for you is that you will not wait until it's too late. If you would like to accept the Lord or need prayer, contact us. There's a story old that has often been told of how our Savior died. As they nailed his hands, he cried, they don't understand as the blood flowed from his side. How can you refuse him now? How can you refuse him now? How can you turn away from his side? With tears in his eyes on the cross where he died. How can you refuse Jesus now? As he hung there on the tree, he prayed for you, he prayed for me. There was no one his pain to relieve. Before he died, he plainly cried, Father, forgive them, please. How can you refuse him now? How can you refuse him now? How can you turn away from his side? With tears in his eyes, on the cross where he died. How can you refuse Jesus now? With tears in his eyes on the cross where he died. How can you refuse Jesus now? And I've made a change in your heart. Yeah. yeah. And you've been walking with the Lord ever since. Yes, I've been, I've been walking with the Lord ever since. And uh, I'm glad to accept him. I just keep on Never going. went back? No, no. Praise even, uh, even right now, I just lost my son. I know. And, uh, I'm very sorry. September 21. Yeah. yeah. I, I, lost, I lost my son in a heart attack. Yeah. But, uh, I know God was with us. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He will see you through. Yeah. He will look after you. Yeah. 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 We miss him, but you will go to be with him. Yeah. That, uh, uh, because I'm sick, I got Parkinson's. Yeah, I have a hard time talking. Yeah. You're doing very good, very good. I had to talking. Yeah. 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 So when he accepted the Lord, what did you think at that funeral? Yeah, um, when we were at the church, yeah. uh, when, when that body was there in the front of us, yeah. we were on top of the front of it. And I, I can feel that he's, you know, but I didn't say nothing. I just, I was just praying that somebody would, you know, talk to him. Oh, yeah. Was behind there. Yeah. Yeah. Me and the ladies were sitting in front, and they were behind, behind there sitting, and I know that something's mm -hmm. going on with it. Mm -hmm. 
you know, uh, then a little while, um, Jerry came, and Jerry helped. Aww. Yeah, had that. I know it. But and then after the service, there was another service in the evening, okay. and he said to me, "We have to go to church. <laughs> I have to make this public." Caleb had just accepted the Lord in the morning service. After he went home, he told his wife, we have to go to the service tonight and confess. We have to make it public. He wanted others to know. He was not ashamed. Jesus was now his savior, and he wanted to make it public, and this is good. This is what Jesus said after he performed a miracle in a man's life. Go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he has had compassion on you. In public, yeah. Yeah. And that's what he did. Yeah. yeah. Caleb, why did you feel like you had to make it public? Uh, uh, Jesus... Jesus went to public. She was on the cross. So I had to put, like that, like that. Jesus went to the cross yeah, for everybody to see him. Let him save himself. I have to sweat. I have to sweat people. That you meant business with God. It was real this time. Yeah. You are not ashamed. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. No. I'm not ashamed. No. No. You are going to walk with Jesus. That's what I want to do. But it's getting hard. But it's true. Uh, but that we'll, we'll make it. I'm sure people pray for me. Yeah, we will pray for you. Yeah, I know it's not easy, especially now what you're going through with your son, just losing your son. God will help you. Yeah. Yeah, he will see you through. Yeah. Yeah. He is a good God. A good, good God. That's what the... That's what I read uh, September 22. When I turned to me after my son died. And the next morning, I read down to Psalm 100. So, and then the, the, the three verse said, You know, the Lord is God. He created us, and we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. And God, I read that. They're supposed to stay with me. And his plans are good, you know. It doesn't seem good at the moment, you know. But he has the best for us. Yeah. And he has the best for you. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a scripture that God helped you with? What I was saying here at the church, and I was talking about my son, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. 
I was with him for a moment yeah. before before he oh. was taken out. It was two thirty when I came home and I, and I talked to him and I said, uh, uh, "I'm going to go back home now and stay with." I had my grandchildren in the house, yeah. so it's been late. Just running around, waiting for them to, to get in. And I said, um, "I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you if something happens. If they say something, or maybe surgery. Uh, if you get that surgery, uh, I'll be there for you." Then I hold his hand before I came on. As I was holding his hand, he squeezed my hand. I just stand there. And that's when I felt that peace in me. And I thought about my dad when I when that happened. My dad used to tell me, always pray that peace will come when you get into hard times. And that's what I've been doing. I I pray then peace will come if I get into hard times. And that peace is still with me. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And I was thinking of that verse. Uh, peace I leave with you. Even though I didn't know what he did, I know if you pray and ask God for forgiveness, mm -hmm. you know, because you're across the lake here, yeah, that's when he first fell, dropped, mm -hmm. and they have to go get him. Uh, maybe that was a second attack that, oh. yeah. Yeah, that's the damage he had across her on his arm. So I was just uh, just feeling great. No, it's, it's just uh, so feels so good having peace, man. I thought I would never make it if I lost my son. But the Lord is so good. I can just feel His presence with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt. Even though my husband wasn't there with me when they bring that news, he was going for his appointment. Yeah, I was just me and my grandchildren in the house. Yeah. So I have to fly over and yeah. <laughs> God is good to you. Yeah, he's yeah. good. He's so good. Yeah. I pray for you. And we we pray for you, you know, yeah. that God will lead you. Yeah. 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 And I'm very sorry to hear about yeah. your son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go to another subject now. You said your husband works in the church. Caleb, what do you do in the church? You work in the church? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a oh. board member. Board member. Board member? Yeah. And what do you do in the church? Uh, helping out, uh, yeah. cooking and all yeah. that kind of stuff. You know? yeah. 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 Looking after children, watching them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I just like to be around with the young people. Yeah. yeah. Do you have anything to share um, to the people? Would you like to tell the people anything? It, just anything. Mm -hmm. um, what I usually share about is uh, John 3.16, okay. which God has so loved us that he sent his son yeah. for us. And uh, mm -hmm. that he loved us so much. He gave us his son to die for us, 
that we might be forgiven, that we might be saved. And I always pray that, thinking of the young people all the time, that's what I have in mind all the time, you know, young people to get to know the Lord. Yeah, I always pray for the young people, not just my children, but anyone to be saved. Caleb, do you have anything else to share? I want them to, to not to not to quit, not 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 to go. Not to turn back. Not to turn back. No, it's nice. It's even too hard to, to walk. I just couldn't watch it. I have no, I have no, I have no desire to go back. I like to. I want to make it because uh, there's, there's better ahead. There's better ahead. Yeah, but uh, I know God is with me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I want to say that uh, anybody is going to be watching it and just uh, keep on going. No turning back. No turning back. Just like what the what the Sunday school song said. I have to. I have. I have to. I have to, I have to, I have to say, I, I've decided to follow Jesus. Yeah, it's a good song. I've decided to follow Jesus. It is a good song. Yeah, now turn back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, till I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, till I will follow. No turning back. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. What cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me the cross before me the world behind me the cross before me the world behind me the cross before me no turning back